Man, 10 days left until the 100 day YouTube challenge is done. Man, this was a crazy ride just going through this 90 days of just straight YouTube uploads every single day. That's at least three months worth of videos right there. And I just learned so much. And in this video, you guys, I just want to tell you the three main lessons that I learned and that I obtained from doing this 100 day YouTube challenge. And really, just you just make sure you stay to the end of this video. Because there's like a funny thing that I want you to refer to at the end of this video. So make sure you stay in for that. So let's go on to the first point on what I really learned from this 100 day YouTube challenge. Like man, like the first point, man, it was just really the time management. Uh, if, if three months ago, like I, I was like, oh, okay, I was just doing three YouTube videos a week. Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And that was okay. But at the same time, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it was kinda hard. Cause just really just getting the discipline and the time management to do it, it took a lot of time, and I just didn't know how to properly manage my time that well. But after you, I did this 100 day YouTube challenge, I had an accountability group, we kept each other accountable, and there's something on the line, you just gotta get your butt to work. And that's what I did. I got my butt to work. I've uploaded every single day since then. And that was including YouTube lives, actual videos, and just really just doing different types of topics. And the biggest thing I learned with this time management is that, you know, I could do it in the morning or I could do it in the evening. I really mixed with like 40 days of evening and 40 days worth of morning videos. I don't know if you guys could tell, but there is like a slight difference. And really just managing those different things to see how it goes. And really just see what works out for me. And generally for me, if I want to get a lot of things more productive, it wor usually works in the morning. But due to some other scheduling, I do it in the evening now. And that's what this, this video is for you guys right here. It's like an evening video. And really, that's really the first main lesson. It's just, it really taught me how to time manage. Because I had to include at least two to three hours in video production, get some ideas on what to talk about, and really kind of edit them through when time permits on what kind of videos I am making at the time. And some of them I feel like to be creative. Some of them you might see like the super dry one. You might see like another video like that. College one. I just made a whole different bunch of topics. And that's what I learned from this video, from this whole challenge, is just really time management is the number one thing that I got from it. Second one was going to be that the list of topics that I talked about. Like I expanded my knowledge, everything. I expanded my knowledge in YouTube algorithms, like the search engine optimization, the SEO, YouTube SEO. I learned about how to really just manage how titles work and also tags in videos. Like all those little things matters. Thumbnails also, and really just how you really try to capture the viewer's attention to watch your video. Man, that was, that, that was like game changer. I was like, holy cow, there's a whole like art and science to it. And the more I did YouTube, the more I got involved with all these different knowledges and really just getting involved with other YouTube influencers to see what they learn and just like the surface layer tips that they're giving out to really just build up my channel and also to other influencers' channels. So that's the second thing, was really just the knowledge on the YouTube. And the third one, this is going to be the funniest one and the one that I really like the most is really just the public speaking. Like, you should pause this video first and then make another tab and then go to my first video. Look at my first video and compare it to this video right here. Like, man, my speaking style is different. The way I actually present myself is different. Holy moly, like, you, you should really just check out comparisons too because that was the biggest difference and when I reflected and see the saw the different person like my first video to the video right now that's like a hundred and ten a hundred twenty something video right there huge difference huge difference in speaking huge difference in body language and also in tonality there's so many different improvements that I made over the time and really just doing these YouTube videos really helped improve my communication skills and also my public speaking skills to speak to you guys today on this camera here and to you on the other side of the screen. So those are my three biggest lessons that I got from doing this 100 day challenge. Well, 90 days out of the 10, 100 actually. So I got 10 more left. 90 out of 100, I got 10 more left. So that's what I got left for you guys. 10 more days left and then after that, I'm gonna go back to my normal three day video per week 
and also to give you guys valuable content and also maybe some different vlogs because some of you guys did request some, for some vlogs I am going to try to bring out this camera once in a while to see to bring vlogging because the microphone is like bomb as heck so that's my little video for you guys and if you guys like this video give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button down below and let me know what was your favorite three points three lessons that you got or maybe anything in general that you like from me doing this 100 day youtube video challenge and i'll see you guys on the next video peace